plate and the knife goes... What's the matter with you? Are you superstitious or something? Well, what are you going to have to eat? Uh, the usual. Steak, beans, potatoes, and big fish apple pie. Oh, thank you. Put yourself a pretty nice steak, will you? A lot of black. Here, I'll show you. Now, my hands are too wet. No, you, you get the book. Come on, take the book a minute. Nora, Peter, come here. I want you to hear this. Get the book. Now, that place right here where it says, under the law of this territory, you, you, hell, you read it out loud. I got Liberty Valance. That's exactly where I want it. Just exactly where I want it. What's the matter? Go ahead, read it. I can't. What? You, well, why not? Well, I never had the school, and that's why not. You mean you can't read at all? No, I can't read, and I can't write. Here, take your book. No, for heaven's sakes, is Mr. Peabody's order ready yet? Oh, no. Hi. Not enough beans on it. Holly, I'm sorry. Holly, I, I could teach you. What for? What good has reading and writing done you? Look at you in an apron. Be right with you, boy. I guess I do look kind of funny in this thing. I didn't mean to hurt her. Oh, she gets over it. Besides what is reading and writing for a girl, she make a wonderful wife, Hallie, for the man she marries. Yeah, and if Tom Donovan is smart, he pops the question to Hallie before some busybody I am married to upsets his uh, bag and apple. Oh, you. You go sit down and eat your supper before coming to drugs. Well, I'm not finished here. Go sit down and eat. And steak and potatoes. Uh, I'm hungry. I wonder if I can impose upon your hospitality just a couple of those steaks and no beans. Hey, Marshal, are you just the man I'm looking for? Shh, not so loud. The double on the potatoes. One steak for one marshal on the cook. Marshal, I was wrong the other day, but I've been reading up a territorial law, and there it is, right there. Now, I'll draw up the complaint, take care of all the legal details, but you do have jurisdiction. It says so right there. So the next time he sets foot in this town, you arrest him. Anything you say, Mr. Stoddard, I'll be tickled to death to... What was that? Arrest who? Liberty Valance. Arrest Liberty Valance? You mean Liberty Valance? Just when I was starting to get my appetite back. Four steaks for the brophy boys with black eyed peas. Burn them. They're sober tonight, too. Burn four. Here's the supper for rents. Thank you. Oh, sit down. The way you pop up every time a girl speaks oh, I'm to sorry. you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to get my hat. Rads, do you think I could? I, I mean, grown up and all, do you think I could learn to read? Why, sure you can, Hallie. Why, it, there's nothing to it. It'd be, it'd be easy. Can you learn how to read? I, I, can, I can teach you. A smart girl like you, 
Of course you can learn how to read. Now, do you want to try? Well, it's awful worrisome not knowing how. I know the good book from Preacher Talk, but it'd be a sole comfort if I could read the words myself. Hallie, I'll teach you how to... In, in, in no time, you'll be reading everything. <laughs> well... Hallie, can I have just one more steak? One steak on the cuff! Teach me to read and write. T teach me to read and write. I cannot say my OBC in Swedish. Maybe you can teach me in English. Why, sure, Nora. You can be my second pupil. Hal will be my first pupil. You'll be my second pupil. <laughs> Peter, you hear that? Peter! <laughs> well, Pilgrim, I see you're still protecting the ladies. Why, Tom, look at you. You're all dressed up. Well, it was Saturday night. Why don't you look handsome? Oh, uh, Hallie, I brought you a little present. Tom. Prettiest cactus rose I ever did see. My, it is a beauty. Look at it, Noah. Should look nice in your garden. Oh, but it should go in the ground right now, and I'm going to Let me plant that for you, Miss Hallie. I'll be pleased Oh, to. thank you, Pompey. Oh, the hash knock group just arrived. Burn eight. Oh, not too close to the Arcatillo bush, Pompey. Yes, ma'am. Ransom Stoddard, attorney at law. You're a persistent cuss, Pilgrim. You really aim to hang that up outside somewhere? That's why I painted it. Well, take some advice, Pilgrim. You put that thing up, you'll have to defend it with a gun. And you ain't exactly the type. Six hands on Saturday night, 